Mariam cold called me. She was a lesbian in a forced marriage and being raped by her husband. We see a version of this story every day. Patriarchy coming back like a cancer metastasizing in court judgments at work and in the very spirits and bodies of women and queer folk. It's hurting our boys too, let's be clear about that. Our men who are raised to violently take what they want to defend themselves, violently. It's harming in especially cruel ways black folk, Muslims like Maryam, and Dalits. We got Mariam out and safe through tunnels of legal procedure, and she's flourishing now as a writer in Bollywood. And there is so much an unbounded spirit can do, given half a chance. That's what drives me. In the fight to criminalize marital rape, to make laws more just towards women and queer folk, and to enable joy and flourishing. From clients who by any metric should be beaten down and wiped out. From Mariam, from the survivors of Bhopal's gas disasters, Union Carbide and Dow, still unaccountable, the US corporations. From people being prosecuted for telling hard truths and from with those within the gates of power who bring justice. I draw the strength to persist through slow, gnarly processes. Let's raise a toast then, shall we? To the spirit that blooms relentlessly towards the light and the abundance and healing waiting to tumble out of all our peoples in every part of the world. <laughs>